Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel W Decoders. So today I will use ng access package for store management in my Angular 17 project. Okay, so I have a simple project in which I have two pages. You can see on my screen dashboard and employees. Okay, so you can see on dashboard page I am showing total employees count and employees page I am showing these employees in a table format. Okay, now I will show you the network type. Okay, you can see if I refresh the dashboard page, the employees API is calling. Okay, now again, if I go to the employees page, then again, employees API is calling. So these multiple calling we need to reduce using ng access. Now I will show you what I have in the existing project in my VS code. Before this, my request you guys, if you are new on my channel, Please subscribe to my channel because lot of programming videos will come in the future and you will get the notification for those videos. You can see in app folder I have three folders okay models pages and services in models one file I have employee.ts file in a pages two component I have dashboard and employees in the services one service file I have in the service file only get API I have added okay and in dashboard page this is the simple thing and in the ts file i am calling that api for getting all the employees record okay and you can see i have subscribed this one and the same thing i have done in a employee.ts file okay in this component file i have done this okay the same thing which i have done in a dashboard page so sometimes suppose we are calling the same api in our application then we need to use the store management okay so now we will use ng access for this and we will reduce to calling this API multiple times. Okay. So first of all, we need to go to terminal and we need to install one package. I will add this package in a description box. You can copy from there and also you can refer the ng access official website. Now we need to go to config file first because some dependencies we need to add here. Okay, first of all, we need to add the ngxs module here. This will be auto import. In this bracket, we will add our state file. So we need to create one folder here in app folder store. And in this, we will create one file employee state. dot ts okay now first of all we need to add the action export class get all employee static read only type employee get all okay now we need to create one interface employee state model and in this we will add employee this model already we have been created now we need to add the state before this we need to import the state Okay, here we need to add the employee state model and we need to give the name of the state. Default value will be uh, employees will be empty. Okay, now we need to add the injectable here export class employee state now constructor we need to call here private employee service employee service okay now we need to call the action first action get all employee 
and the same uh, we will use here get employee get all employee okay ptx state context and in this employee state model okay now we need to return this employee service get all employee dot pipe and in this pipe we will use tap response con state ca text get state so state data we we are uh, receiving here oh uh, we, we don't need to add the square bracket instead of this we need to add the curly braces okay now ctx uh, set state we need to add and state okay now here we need to add employees response data okay uh, we need to format the code uh, this is fine okay now we need to add one selector here selector and in this we need to add the employee state okay selector also we need to add static collect employee state employee state model return state employees so this is the only thing that we need to do so i think all thing uh, i have added so this uh, file i need to add here okay ploy state like this and something is not right let me check once okay uh, i don't need to add here actually i need to add here yes so now this comma also we need to remove okay one error we have on a 28 line we need to check what we have 28 uh, okay yes this one now again we need to check yeah this is working fine now the selector we need to use in both of the pages okay for getting all the data first of all in a dashboard page we will do so we need to add the selector here oh sorry we need to call the selector here select so this will be auto import and now employee state we need to call and select employee okay and we need to add employees dollar and observable i employee this will be a array okay now this we will use in a ng on init this subscribe we will add or uh, oh we need to remove this one actually we need to add the colon here yes and exclamation mark i will add now the next we will use okay uh employees and this okay one more thing we need to add because we need to add the uh, if condition here first of all we need to check the length if the length is zero then we need to dispatch that action okay uh, this is store but before that we need to add we need to inject the store here a private store store okay and store dot dispatch new get all employee okay if we have the data then this dot employees uh, in which oh the total we need to add okay so just employees dot length okay length we need to add now 
I'm not calling this function. Now we can check what we have. So if I refresh this page, then you can see the API is calling. Okay. Now the same thing we need to do in an employees page. So I'll copy this one. The same thing I need to do. Okay. Now I need to copy this one. The same thing. Right? But here we need uh, all record. So this, uh, this I will do. And this is also I will comment. Now we need to check what we have. So again I will refresh this. API is calling. Now if I will go to employees. <laughs> we have the data. But now the API is not calling. Right? So we are getting the data. Again if I go to the dashboard page. Yeah. I'm, API is not calling. So this is the only thing that I want to do. So now. We can remove this one and this function also we can remove. We don't need this and the same thing we need to remove the extra cloud from here. Okay, I hope you like this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for the latest videos. Thank you so much.